apple blossom time, the loveliest season of the year. For long dark months during the Blitz and the flying bomb menace, this peaceful corner of the Kent countryside was the scene of havoc and destruction. But now the blossom hides its war scars. Two girls have come to forget for a while and to remember. To remember the happy hours they spent here with the men they love. The young wife, separated by long miles of ocean from her soldier husband, and beside her, recalling the same scenes of peaceful days, her friend, whose fiancé went away on the same troop ship. As they look down over the familiar orchards, gay in their pink dress of apple blossom, they remember that blossom time of years ago, when war seemed a remote possibility that would never happen. Once more, they make their way to the well-loved style, where in the old days, two strong pairs of masculine hands used to help them over. This was the orchard through which they strolled on that memorable day when they walked in pairs with a discreet distance between them while their boys shyly and haltingly asked the question that was in their hearts. And here was the branch that John pulled down for his girl to smell. Strange how that scent has the power to swing them both back to the world of yesterday. They make their way through the field they know so well, to the place where they sat down together and picnicked, laughing and chattering and toasting each other's health as newly engaged couples. But now their men are not with them and they can only read again Bill's last letter and look at the snap he sent of John and him together. It'll be blossom time when you get this, Bill had written. Go to our orchard and look at it for both of us, will you? So many memories, and the hope that their men will be back with them when blossom time comes round again.